All right, so this is the complete review of the no fin, no fan after being benched and all assembled. Yes, here we have it. This is our case, i7 Haswell processor, no fin powerless, or powerless. <laughs> uh, fan, well, it's only a 450, so kind of, but uh, fanless. Uh, he's running dual uh, SSDs in here, so no sound from there. Fanless CPU cooler, fanless case. Let's see the front of this. Still says no fin there. But still a pretty sweet case. And on the back, the sticker says no fan. Yeah. So, contradicting. <clears throat> so here we go, boot. Yeah, we're using old CRT monitor. Screw off. It works. Probably gonna boot before the monitor even turns <laughs> on. <laughs> Probably. Oh, look at that. Yep, we missed the BIOS. Starting Windows. Boom, we're there. Um, so, just a few things. We're already up and running. So, we've run uh, several bench tests on this just to see how the uh, APU on the Haswell does. Um, and not totally impressed, honestly. But we'll give you some numbers. Uh, so 3D Mark 06 we ran, uh, it scored 8,074. Um, not that great. Again, it's on the APU though, so it's not like a dedicated graphics card, but I was kind of expecting a little better uh, out of that. But uh, Final Fantasy, um, on low, it scored 1645. Ooh. On high, only 804. Very, ugh. If you so, had to compare this to a graphics card, what what graphics card would you pick? I don't even know. Like, it'd have to be a pretty low-end PCI Express graphics card to get those little scores. Uh, so, I don't know. I mean, again, it's without the use of a graphics card, which is impressive in itself. But uh, I was kind of expecting a little better results out of the Haswell. But why don't you um, explain APU a little bit more too? That way, for those don't really familiar with it, understand. Basically running graphics off of the processor instead of the kitty, instead of a data kit. Fantastic. Dedicated graphics card. Yeah. So, um, which is nice because on a system like this, only a, 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 it's actually a 400 watt power supply. Um, so, you know, you can't stick, you know, like a GTX <coughs> 680 or something in here. Um, so, this is supposed to be kind of a low power system and everything, which it is, but uh, um, you know, if you're running anything real heavy duty anyways, I don't know that you would want to go fanless, um, just because anything heavy duty creates a lot of heat, and I don't know how well. This is running good for this system, um, but uh, I mean, the, the guy was mainly looking for quiet, so. Um, so overall though. It. Overall, it's pretty decent. Um, the Unigen score, um, on, on low settings was 555. So, again, not that great as far as graphics go, but again, it's this is without a dedicated graphics card. So, money wise, much cheaper. If you're not having to do any high end video gaming or video editing, things like that, um, it's a great system. Quiet, I mean, completely quiet. There's no noise out of it whatsoever, uh, other than if you're running a CD in the optical drive. So, um, so yeah, so here it is. Um, it's kind of cool. You can actually feel the heat in here. Um, it's not a lot, but uh, temperature-wise, uh, it's done exactly what it's supposed to. Um, Do you know what this idles at? Um, I don't know what it idles at. Uh, there should be CPU ID on there. It might not be on there anymore. But anyway, it idles really low. Yeah. Even while benching, it never gets very hot. Yeah. Which is pretty so impressive. It's, so it's doing, it's doing its job. It's doing what it's supposed to do under the circumstances. Um, so again, we're not doing any heady graph gaming or anything on it because it simply just won't handle anything at high settings, really. So, uh, But yeah, here it is. Lights up. No fin. Not no fan. It's actually pretty bright. As an American, I'm upset with this, but uh, just kidding. Oh. Yeah. So why don't we give the specs of the machine real quick. Uh, so really quick, this is a, uh, I gotta double check it. 
Uh, we're looking at the Core i7 4770S. Uh, it's a 3.1 gigahertz processor. It's got 16 gigabytes of RAM. So really quick, just to finish up again, uh, um, this run a Core i7 Haswell SOC 1150. Uh, the other thing uh, this system has, no graphics card again, um, 400 watt no fin power supply. Uh, this system's running a 120 gig SSD Samsung for the uh, OS drive and then it's got a 500 gig uh, Samsung SSD as well, the 840 series uh, for storage. So again, this is a pretty sweet system. Um, Check this out in here, it's pretty sweet. And again, if you didn't see our previous video, um, this initially came with a, uh, a different fan that was the incorrect one, uh, the CR100A, uh, which was too wide. It wouldn't fit in this case with this motherboard. So um, be careful if you order this as a package, because for $450 you would think everything would work right, but apparently it didn't, even though uh, compatibility of this said it did. So we had to uh, have them send us out this one instead. So. Anyways, there's our review. Hope you liked it. Subscribe to our channel for future videos.